What is up everybody? Rod J back again to share another beer with you here on the Beer Channel. Today I'm going to be breaking open another one from Brewery Omegang out of Cooperstown, New York. It is the Soothsayer Belgian style dark ale. So here is a look at the beer. We're looking at a bottle of, again, 25.4 ounces. I have some big beers I need to finish off, so that's what I'm gonna crack open. And it was one that was under a limited release. Not sure how often they bring this one out. You're looking at an AB of 8.9% with this one. It says to serve at 50 degrees, so I did have this sit out for a little bit of time. Here on the backside is the label. If you want to pause the camera and read that, you can do that as well. I'm not gonna get into it. It says right there, where heaven met earth and stayed a while. Let's go ahead and get it open and get it into the glass. And it does have the tin and the cork top as well on this one here. Pop, pop, pop goes the top. Got a little bit of smoke coming out as well. Pours the nice dark color. Obviously, it's a Belgian dark ale, so that is how it pours. Check it out there. You got a nice brown tan head on the beer. Got about just over a finger. Uh, yeah, about a finger, maybe a finger and a quarter. And a nice deep darker brown color for the beer itself. Nice amount of aroma. Very aromatic. Getting dark fruits on the nose. Getting some sweetness in there. Kind of that candy type sugar feel. Again, something common you get with some of the Belgian ales. But overall, smelling pretty decent. My head is now dissipated down to a half a finger, taste-wise. Oh man, very smooth. You do have some of the carbonation in there as well, but not a huge tongue prickling sensation. Nice sweetness, nice feel of the malts. You get a toffee feeling in there, really hits in the cheek, very nice, so you get a nice mouth coating. Down on the back end rather easily, very smooth. That candy sugar kind of feel comes through in the taste as well. You talk about like the feel of the dark fruits, kind of like some of the, the raisin type feel, a little bit of a plum type feel really sticks nicely in the cheek area. As you suck the cheeks, you really pull out more of that flavor. Duration is nice on it as it does hang around. Brewery Gang does some pretty good beers and I always say, if you get a chance to check them out, they have a various amount of styles. Nice and tasty. You do have to be a fan of that candy sugar type sweetness and if you are, I think you'll be definitely rewarded with this beer here. Body wise, nice. Medium to full body, not overly heavy. Don't remember the year I have on this one, but it was another one from the cellar that I pulled. And I tell you what, I'm having some fun going through some of these beers right now. A Little bit of a subtle type spice there in the background as well, but overall, very, very nice beer. Here we go. Soothsayer, Brewery Gang, Dark Belgian Ale. If you've had it, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. And I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Thanks for checking out another video. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. And if you want to see another video, make sure you hit the end screen. Coming up next. That being said, see you next time. Cheers.